Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make diamond painting videos here on this channel. And I asked you guys today on my community tab if you guys wanted to see um, a video of me showing you guys my diamond art club wish list, or if you guys want to see um, kind of like a few kits in one unboxing to try to find the pink tweezers. And you guys voted and is currently winning uh, the diamond art club wish list, which surprised me because I think I was personally a little bit more intrigued to find the tweezers, but I can still do that. So <laughs> we're going to do that a different time. Um, but today we're going to be doing everything that's on my diamond art club wish list. I am just going to do kind of like a quick scroll through, talk about each kit just like a little bit. I'm going to try to keep this video short because I feel like it doesn't need to be too long, I feel like. Um, and I think these kind of videos are fun. I was inspired by um, one of my friends here on YouTube. Her YouTube channel, sorry, I'm just trying to find it quick. I've got too many subscriptions, is Painting Sparkles. Um, I will leave her channel linked down below for you guys to check out, but I saw her do this video and I'm like, yeah, I wanna do that. So yeah, I'll leave her channel linked down below and I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm really gonna try hard to not need any editing done in this video besides literally popping in a screen recording and just going from there. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right on into it. Okay, so we're currently screen recording, so I'm hoping that you guys can see my wish list. I'm gonna go ahead and actually start at the bottom of my wish list and we're just gonna go up and talk about it. So first of all on here, for I don't know why I still have this on my wish list. It literally says discontinued product. Um, but first we have, um, oh my god, at first I thought it wasn't screen recording still, that scared me. Okay, first of all, we have Spring Delight. This is by Hannah Lynn. Um, I won't go too much in depth on this one. I just have this on my wish list still, just in case there's like a small restock and I'm able to grab it. Um, I did kind of want her, but it, it's on me. It's on me fully. I didn't pick her up before she was discontinued, so that's okay. Um, but she's really cute, and yeah, she's discontinued, <laughs> so I don't even know why she's still showing up on my wish list necessarily, because usually they just completely go away, but it's the first one. Then we have Holiday Shop. This one I toyed around with for a very long time, and um, ultimately decided to keep on my wish list. I think it's really, really fun. This was part of the Christmas release last year, when they did like 25 Christmas releases and holiday releases. This one's really fun. It just looks like a very fun and highly confetti-heavy piece, which is cur like my jam. Um, so we have Holiday Shop, and then we have My Inner Sanctuary. This is by Yume Art, and I feel like if I'm gonna get a piece with a lot of color blocking in the background, it's just gonna be a Yume art piece for whatever reason. Um, but this one is just so fun. I love the idea of the glass piano. If you guys don't know, I graduated college with a, mu well, I did not graduate with a music degree. I graduated with a music minor. I was a music education major for a couple years. Um, my voice was my instrument and I sucked at piano. I can admit I was really bad at it, um, but I do enjoy it now. <laughs> um, but this is just a really fun piece and I'm hoping one day to pick it up. I'm sure I will, but I don't know when it'll come back into stock. And then next up we have Tea Time Spell. This is a Chrissa bug actually, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, this is a Chrissa bug. Oops. And this is a round painting. Actually, I don't have a ton of ton of rounds on my wish list. It's just not my preferred shape, but I do have some solely because of the image. Um, and this is one of them. I think she's very fun. I don't think she's ever gone out of stock since I since she came out um, in July. So I feel like I have to pick her up soon if I want her. Otherwise, I risk her getting discontinued for sure. But she's really cute. Then we have Self Portrait. This is by Dakota Deitweiler. This one is also really cute. I'm also sorry, I'm like clicking around everywhere on my phone. I am not like intentionally keeping things up for like periods of times. So I'm just clicking around. Um, so I apologize about that. But this is Self Portrait. It's really, really fun. I feel like this is honestly me. Like, I don't love like every single like, what's the word, like piece in this painting. Like, it doesn't. All of them don't reflect me, but I love that she's reading. I love the, the like painting in the corner. I love the butterflies. Um, the octopus is not 100% my thing. The ship, not really my thing, but honestly, this painting is really, really cute. So I'm hoping to pick it up for sure. And then we have one that I like 
toyed around with getting during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday era and didn't get. This is Flower Buns. This is another Yume art. It's in round and I think that was definitely like the biggest point for me of being like, I don't know if I 100% want it or not. Um, but I really like it. It's very colorful and I think she's really fun. I think it's Yume art. Let me double check. It is. Okay. Yeah, I toyed around with it. Didn't get it. It actually is back in stock if you guys can see, but, um, yeah, like maybe I'll pick her up eventually. We'll see. My wish list also like changes so constantly that this might not be the same in six months from now. Honestly, like this could be a really fun video to do consistently for like every six months. So let me know if you guys want to see that. But the next one I have on my wish list, I've had on my wish list also for forever, is Dinomania. I think this one is so fun. Is this a Steve Sundrum? I think it is. Yeah, Steve Sundrum. His artwork is slowly growing on me so much. I love it. Uh, but this one's so fun with all of the dinosaurs. I don't know what it is about it, but I'm here for it. I think it's so adorable. I love like the little drawing in the corner as well. Um, this is a big one. I mean, a 94 by 70 centimeters. She's pretty big. A lot of confetti in this painting. Like this is like for the confetti lover, which it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. Um, very cute though. I love to see it. And then next one, you guys, I didn't pick this up on restock and I like kind of regret it. I waited too long and it sold out. Dragon Spirit by Mor uh, by Margaret Morales. I was gonna say Morgan Morales. I'm like, it's not her name. Margaret Morales is her name. Um, this one's so adorable. I love it. I'm really, really hoping we get some more Margaret Morales pieces by Diamond Art Club. I'm sure we will in the upcoming future, but this one is definitely on my wish list to get eventually. Um, again around so it's not as top tier for me to get um i'd probably say this is like the most anticipated rounds for me to pick up um but i feel like it'll be a while before it ends up back in stock unfortunately but again that's all on me and then we have i'm just trying not to edit so i'm trying not to keep super long pauses in between stuff um we have alice in wonderland uh, this one is really, really fun. This one had come back into stock not too long ago and I didn't pick it up. I think I had it in my cart for a little bit and then didn't pick it up. Um, but I'm a big Disney fan. I like Alice in Wonderland a lot. Um, is Alice in Wonderland technically like Disney? I feel like it can't be, right? Because they're able to release all these Alice pieces. I feel like it's not actually Disney. I guess Alice was like a fan. I don't know. I, I'm awful with this what exact let me know in the comments what what exactly is Alice in Wonderland did Disney like get rights for them after like because it's a grim fairy tale right I am just making things up moving on <laughs> this one's huge 106 by 70 centimeters this one is huge and it looks amazing so hoping to pick it up one day and then I have an Ivy Dolomore that I don't know why I haven't picked up yet. And it's literally in stock. And it just came back in stock. <laughs> this is Fairy Lights. I think she's so cute. This is the only Ivy Dolomore left on my wish list, actually. Um, I've picked up the rest. Or there's a couple I didn't pick up. But that's okay. This one is really cute. I love the colors. Um, this one probably was, like, my least favorite in regards to like the ones I wanted to pick up so that's why I'm kind of holding off on her I do think she's really cute though um but I just I haven't picked her up yet it looks like a ton of greens but it looks fun and then we have one that took me by surprise we have Davy Jones Locker this is a Sarah Richter and this one's really kind of creepy and I love it I just think it's <laughs> I think it's cool I like the mermaid um for some reason I love the skeleton I just think this one's really fun um, this one has a lot of dark colors, so obviously something to take into consideration, but I feel like the pops of the purple are really, really cool, if you guys can see. Um, pops of the purple are really cool. So, we have that one, and then, I feel like I'm going through this so slowly, oh my god. We have the old shoe house, what is this, a Dominic Davison? It is a Dominic Davison. This one has been on my wish list for forever. I just think this one's really cool. 105 by 70 centimeters, so it's big. This is one of those that I'm like, if I need an extra painting to add into my cart, it's gonna be this one. Um, that's how actually kind of a lot of these landscapes ended up in my car or in my wish list. It's like, well, if I need something to add on to a new release order, I like one of them. I don't like the rest. I can add on one of these. Um, so we have that one. And then we have a Christmassy one. This is Festive Fireplace. And this is a also a Dominic Davison. Hmm. The more you know. Uh, this is a really adorable image. I really like the cozy aesthetic of it. I feel like I have a lot of Christmas paintings. Considering I don't celebrate Christmas, I have a lot of them. Um, so I definitely 
I'm trying to be a little pickier, right? Right? Maybe. Um, <laughs> like I might pick it up eventually. We'll see. I think it's very, very cute. Um, love the cozy room vibes. Totally my aesthetic. I just haven't picked it up. And then we have Lakeside Cottage. Who is this by? Adrian Chesterman. Oh yeah, I guess I knew that. Um, this one I've had on my wish list since it came out. I just think this one is really like fairy tale esque, and I really like it. Um, again, a lot of these are just like I didn't pick them up at the time of release, and I haven't had a reason otherwise to pick them up. Um, this one's really fun though. It actually, you know, considering it's a landscape, I feel like it looks like it has a fair amount of color blocking in it. Um, I could be way off base by that, but yeah we have that one then we have waiting for master my friend ash uh simply ash here on youtube is actually working on this one and i have been loving seeing her progress pics so this is definitely one that i want to pick up again a very dark color scheme but a lot a lot of greens and blue obviously but <laughs> but it really does look like fun um is this a Dominic Davison also? It is. The amount of Dominic Davison I have on my wish list is a lot. Um, so we have that one. Then we have an Image World landscape. You guys know how I feel about my Image World landscapes. We have Lighthouse in the Night. This one I just haven't picked up. I guess it just didn't speak to me as much as the other ones. Um, but I do really like the rich colors of this one. Again, more of a darker landscape, which is why I haven't picked it up yet, I guess. Um, but hopefully soon. And then we have Otter Spirit. This is by, oh, why, you guys? Where is the artist's name? Isn't this Jamus Jam Jamushka? Hmm, that's a little weird. Um, this one's so stinking cute. I love it. The background worries me a little bit, maybe with the color blocking. And again, it's another, like, darker image. Um, but there's a lot of pops of color, I feel like, in here. So, yeah, this one definitely, definitely is a contender to pick up soon. Um, worries me a little bit that I can't see the artist name at the bottom. I don't know. Um, and then we have another Image World landscape. We have Amsterdam Canal. This one has been on my wish list since the start. I have considered picking this up so many times and haven't, but I see a lot of people work on this in the VIP group, and every time I'm like, oh, I need to pick that up next time, and I never do. But, um, maybe, maybe this time, right? <laughs> maybe next time I order, we'll see. Is it in stock? Yeah, it's in stock. So, we have that one. Another one I've had on my wish list for a really long time. Conservatory House. Is this a Dominic Davison? No, it's a David McLean. I was like, oh my god, another Dominic? No, this is a David. It's a David McLean. I love this one a lot. I love the little doggos. I love the vibe, like the fall vibe of the house. Love it a lot. Sorry guys, I feel like I'm like just dragging through this and we're 13 minutes into this video and I like need to pick up the pace. Then we have kitten bedtime stories. I have said time and time again, I'm not a big fan of just kitty diamond paintings because I don't like love cats that much. This one, however, is an exception. It also looks like a crap ton of confetti, which is my thing. Um, but I love the cats sitting and reading Harry, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. It's so cute. I love it. Um, I just think it's really cute. So hopefully one of these days I can pick it up. It is in stock. Um, and then we have Cancer. This is by Eau Claire Studio. This is one I was debating getting. Um, if you guys don't know, I have pretty much picked up all the Eau Claire Studio Zodiac Girls that I want. This one I didn't pick up at the time of release and it sold out. <laughs> so I'm patiently waiting for her to come back in. I think she's really cute. So I will probably pick her up at the next restock to add to my collection. Okay, you guys, this one might be a little surprising and I'll agree with you on that. I'm here for the food by Mrs. Butter D. Sometimes I will put things on my wish list just to have them there. Doesn't necessarily mean I will pick them up when they restock. This is one of them. I'm a little bit conflicted because if you guys can see the background on this is so color blocky and they're rounds. Um, it worries me a little bit just because I'm, again, not as big of a fan of rounds. Um, but I have been seeing some people work on this. Um, so I, I don't know. <laughs> like, we'll see. We'll see. I just have it here just in case, you know? And then we have Slow Night. This is by Erica the Goober. This was a um, Black Friday release, I believe, from this year. And um, I, you know, at first didn't think I really wanted her. But the more I looked at it, I really do like the vibes of it. And um, I think the rendering is fabulous. And it looks like a really interesting color palette, too. Like a lot of like warm neutrals, which is really, really fun to work with. So we have that one. 
And then we actually have a couple of Roy Trin, which I have not picked up any of his pieces. Um, but yeah, these are Roy Trin. Um, let's see. We have Venus, which is gorgeous. These are just ones that I kind of just have on my wish list. Like, again, if I pick them up, I pick them up. And if I don't, I don't. I should really have those maybe a little bit more separate because I feel like I have things on my wish list that I would buy quicker than other things. Um, I mean, she's cute though. Yeah, I'd pick her up. <laughs> she's on my wish list for a reason. We have her and then we have Mercury, which also really stunning. Um, I should really look through his artwork again on Diamond Art Club's website and see if there's any more I want to add to my wish list. But for now, we have those two. And then we have another Image World landscape. We have Magic House by the River. Um, I talked about this one in a um, diamond painting vlog video. And um, it's just a really colorful landscape. And um, I like it a lot. Not enough that I picked it up. I haven't picked it up yet. So not enough to pick it up. Um, but eventually maybe hopefully I'll pick it up I really like the sky in particular I just think all of those colors are really really pretty um so we have that one oops and then we have mushroom forest which was a new re uh, release not too long ago when was this February 17th wow that was only like almost two months ago that's really not that long ago um this is one that I was toying between and didn't end up getting it sold out now here we are um I do I do really like this one though I love the <clears throat> wow now my throat is getting to me <laughs> I love the fall vibes of it I just think it's really really cute and then we have graveyard goodies this is a Randall Spangler this was I think one of their um Halloween releases from the year and I've had this one on and off my wishlist since, but it is currently on. Um, it's square, and I was like, I do really like this. I think it's fun. So we have that one. And then I have like, oh, I was going to say I have a bunch of Randall, but he's not quite there yet. Um, we have the Literate Dragon, which this one, again, is another one I'm kind of toying on. Um, I like the idea of it a lot. Um, I just love all the books. I saved a lot of book-themed ones on my wishlist, and like, I'll kind of see as time goes if I end up wanting them but this is one of them and then another landscape I have is Castle Neuschwasten oh no that was probably not right this is a Adrian Chesterman okay that I didn't know um this is so fun I love this the rendering is fabulous it looks like a ton of confetti right up my alley and it kind of gives um Disney castle vibes which I'm here for um it's actually you know a 91 by 65 I would have thought it was bigger right maybe I don't know we have that one and then we have undersea treasure this I think is an Adrian Chesterman as well yeah it is um this was another Black Friday release I believe um and I've had it on and off my wish list again I've got some of those that kind of go on and off I feel like you guys can definitely relate to that um but she's fun a lot of confetti and I don't have a ton a ton of underwater landscapes so like maybe right maybe like I have some mermaids but none like landscapes so is that even true I don't know actually um and then we have island life who is this this is a Chuck Pinson should have known that Chuck Pinson Chuck Pinson this is um one of those again that I've kind of gone on and off my wish list a few times <laughs> Um, but it's on right now. I like the color scheme of this a lot. It's not as bright as some of his other landscapes, but it's kind of moody and I'm here for it. Um, and I love the dolphins. I'm such a big fan of dolphins. I just think they're so cute. So we have that one. And then we have Home is Where the Magic is, which is a Randall Spangler castle, which I have mentioned before that I'm not a big fan of snow in diamond paintings because I hate the snow in real life. Um, but I have seen some people work on this and it looks really, really stunning. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to add it on my wish list and we'll pick it up maybe eventually. Um, I have some of his other castles. I completed Springtime Splendor and I was like, you know what? We might as well. We might as well, right? So that's on my wish list. And then I have a few random Randall Spanglers I'll try to go through pretty fast. We have Cookies and Classics. Again, another one with some books that I just have on my wish list just in case I'm feeling in a bookish mood. And then we have Canine Christmas, which I love all the dogs in this one. And I don't know why this one was not on my radar right away, um, but I really like it a lot. So like maybe I'll pick this up at some point. We'll see. We'll see. And then we have Lazy Day, 
another bookish one um this one's really cute i feel like this one could look really good in my bedroom i just think it's really fun he's eating a cookie reading a book honestly such a mood i want to be him <laughs> and then we have so many books so little time another bookish themed one as there's a, a very clear ongoing theme that i am a reader i love reading um so this one oh, i love the little like kitty in the corner that is really cute you guys, talking through these makes me want them more. Hmm. <laughs> so we have that one. And then we have Dog Bookshelf, which this one's really cute. Um, you zoom in. We have A Tale of Two Doggies, um, Alice in Puppyland, Harry Poodle. I love it. I love it. So we have the Dog Bookshelf one. It's pretty big. Um, 125 by 56 centimeter. Yeah, definitely pretty big. And then we have Lead Me Tonight. This is another You May Art glass instrument piece. And I really like this one. I'm pretty sure this is the viola piece. Um, if I am knowing it correctly, I played viola for eight years. Um, and it, it looks like a viola, I'm gonna be honest. It looks a little bigger and violas actually are a little bit bigger than violins. Fun fact, um, I don't know if it's because of the extra, like the, the lowest string is a little bit bigger. I don't know if that's why I might just be making that up um but regardless I am a huge fan of it it's in rounds so I've been a little bit hesitant but I do really like it and again it just kind of speaks to me a little bit so we have that one and then we have magic rats why I have this one on my wish list I don't know I've had it on and off for ages and I don't know I just think it's kind of a vibe and I don't even like rats right rats are nasty but this one's cute <laughs> <laughs> I like the colors in this one a lot. I think it could be really fun to do. So I just have that on my wish list just for like shits and giggles. And then I have Over and Under. This is by Mark Gregory. Hmm. I The artist name is very unfamiliar. Um, but we just have this one, another kind of undersea landscape. I guess kind of half and half. Um, but very fun nonetheless. Very colorful. And then we are getting to our last few, you guys. Um, we have two Cheryl Bakers. These are more recent ads. I wasn't even really considering these to add to my wish list, but I was like, Ooh, you know what? I kind of like them. We have the sisters. I really like this one. I think it's super fun. Um, I believe this is loosely based off of um, some movie. Yeah, yeah, some movie. What movie? I don't know. I don't know my Halloween movies, um, which I should because I really like Halloween. Um, but this one's really cute because it's based off of what? The Sanderson sisters, yeah? Am I making things up? I don't know. We have that one and then we have Welcome Home. And this one, I, I don't know if I'll keep this one on my wish list. It looks really cute. I like the exterior. It's a lot of like neutral colors, which isn't always my thing. Um, so that's kind of like a maybe. We have that one. And then the last one I didn't actually really think I'd have on my wish list, but I recently added it back. It's Dragon Artist. This is a newer release. I think this is by Nini Thomas. Yeah, Nini Thomas. And um, I kind of had a little bit of FOMO when it sold out. <laughs> so <laughs> I have it on my wish list now. And um, yeah, maybe I'll pick it up for the next restock we'll see obviously like i have a ton on my wish list and that's good i like having a lot on my wish list because it means that if there's a weekend where there's only one new release um that i want to get i have like choices for what else i could get with it to get free shipping because girl math i'd rather pay 70 dollars for another kit than just pay for 10 dollars shipping so anyways yeah i'm gonna go ahead and stop the screen recording right here but thank you guys so so much for watching today's video this ended up being a little bit longer than i anticipated but it also is kind of unsurprising at the same time so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already and i will catch you in my next video bye guys